kids don't really want to eat broccoli and things like that. We'll try to see what we can do to keep it nutritious, but by the same token also make it appealing. Sedexo is moving closer to having the island's public school cafeterias ready to serve breakfast and lunch by next Monday. The start of school was delayed earlier this month to allow Sedexo to get the proper business licensing to serve meals to 32 of the island's 40 public schools. Sedexo's business director Joe Micah says he has no doubt that the 13 meal preparation sites will pass health inspections in time for school to open. We are confident based on the, the, the work that's been done with all of us in our partnership in GDOE that those will be ready. So we'll have all 13 fired up and ready to go. We start accepting all of our, our food and our products from um, the Defense Logistics Agency starting we're help on Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So we'll be stocked up, all the food will be here, all the people will be on board later in the week. We'll be ready to start her up on Monday morning. Seduxo received the food service contract just one month before the start of the school year. So Micah says there was a lot of work to do, including the task of getting a business license for each of the food preparation areas. The challenge was, was that when we first started doing the public health inspections, there was a different criteria that you use when you're obtaining a new license as opposed to if it was just a renewal. And that was some of the challenges that we came up with. So now it's working, uh, things are getting fixed. And this one, uh, because we had the time that it made it through the inspections, we've been able to do what you see behind here is go ahead and start our Kids Way program and do the different painting and the signage, which hopefully makes the cafeteria that much more warmer for the kids to want to come and enjoy. Tamooning Elementary School Principal Kathy Rages is excited for the students to see the changes in their cafeteria. I think we're going to have an increase of student participation. Um, just looking in the cafeteria, because even me, myself, just coming in here makes me want to eat. <laughs> we're just so excited. Even our faculty and staff, come, the first thing when they walk in the cafeteria, it's like, wow, so they're amazed. So, so I look at it like they're excited. They can't wait for the first day. And I'm pretty sure they can't wait to try their first breakfast and lunch with our new vendor, Sedexo. But we're all excited. Micah says Sedexo is working on menus to make healthy eating more attractive to students as well. We're rolling out things like we're going to use whole wheat hamburger and hot dog buns, uh, whole wheat pizza, so that we're keeping the healthy and the nutritious theme by also trying to provide products that the kids will like and they'll enjoy. Because again, our real goal as the goal of DOE is to improve participation. Meals for the first two weeks of school will be based on a contingency menu developed by DOE. Micah says Seduxo plans to begin serving from their own menu selections a couple of months into the school year. Betsy Brown, PNC News.